This is the 6th of January 2016. We're at Vincent Corporation. We have samples here from Little Sue. Uh, this is the whole skillet, and this is the DDG. Uh, this one came out of a centrifuge, I believe, and this is probably what goes into the centrifuge. Uh, we're going to try dewatering this in a stew press. We've got this little uh, six inch press running. Um, and that'll feed the uh, material into the screened area of the press. It's set up for uh, fluid injection, steam or alcohol or something. We won't be using that feature, but the liquid should come through the screen. The cake will come out this end. The white door is being pushed shut by an air cylinder. The more air pressure we give it, give it the drier the cake will come out, but the lower the capacity. We're going to start with uh, just 15 psi, one bar, because we think that'll be about as much as we can use on this, if it works at all. We have doubts about the material. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Usually we can't get any water out of the material coming from a centrifuge. We'll see what happens. We're in the uh, Vincent's test area. These are all uh, screw presses that are used for testing. We're going to pre-thicken the uh, whole stillage with this static screen. Openings look like about 20 thousandths of an inch. We'll just run them fluid down there, catch the solids, and run them in the press. And uh, this is the test area where we have a variety of machines set up for uh, tests just such as this. Okay, we've started feeding the uh, DDG into the screw press. Okay, screw's covered, but you hold off a bit. And there you see the screw feeding it in. No water coming out, but we're feeding out here. I'm now going to close this discharge door and we'll start filling up the press. It'll take most of a pail to fill up the press and then we'll get some footage of what happens once it starts working. The cake is starting to come out and uh, but we're not getting any water out. We're forcing some, a bit of moisture there through the screen, but no liquid in the pan. With that, I'm gonna run the air pressure up. You can see the cone closing up. As I increase the air pressure on the display. Now I'm up to uh, wow, 60 psi. I better back off a little bit. I'll go to three bar, 45 psi. So we're running at 45 psi, and as I predicted. We're not able to squeeze any water out of this. If it changes, I'll start the camera again. I'm going to get a sample. Uh, we have as received samples. After pressing, should be the same moisture content since we haven't done anything here. Okay, here's the action. Uh, barely any liquid coming out. Um, what we're going to do to show you something different, which does work for DDG, which is not human consumption, cattle consumption. We're going to add some fiber to assist the digesting process in the cattle that eat this material. We're going to blend in some cottonseed hulls, which are commonly added to cattle feed, and see if we can get any water out if we do that. Yes, we're uh, there's a nice press, and screw presses are us. Uh, we're going to take the sample, and we've calculated from our scale that we should add 1.6 pounds of cotton seed hulls, and so just add a, so it goes up 3.6 pounds. Okay, we're going 5% by weight. I think 3% works, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see what we can get with 5%. The cottonseed holes are a waste agricultural project, product, uh, very, very cheap. Here we are uh, blending the uh, cottonseed holes in with the DDG. Uh, 
Okay, we're starting to feed in the mixture of DDG with 5% cottonseed hulls. As soon as it starts, gets enough in there to start push something out, I'll close the cone. Okay, it's starting to come out. For a while, I wouldn't expect any liquid if we're going to get any because we're still full of the material without the cottonseed hulls. Darn it, the last time I did this, it really worked, but I'm not getting any action here. I'm running at 30 hertz, so I'm running slow, and um, I've got the air pressure up to 5 bar, 75 psi, and I'm still not getting liquid to squeeze out of uh, uh, this DDG. Darn, darn, darn. Thought I'd have something dramatic. Okay, we're going to uh, store this overnight because it's pretty cold in case the room temperature changes. Now, this is the warmest spot in the company because our Australian cattle dog just had her first litter, 10 puppies. And so we're keeping this place warm for her. Here we are trying to pre-thicken the um, material. This is the uh, stillage. This is working, you can see water coming out. So we're getting some free thickening. I was afraid maybe that 020 20,000 500 micron screen was uh, too tight, but it drains reasonably well. This is a very short uh, DSM screen, only about 30 inches. Normally in a paper mill we use 60 inches of screen. This little screen is designed with a hole here so it bolts directly onto a screw press. Short height, easy transition, inexpensive for uh, minor industrial applications. What we're going to try and do here is equal the performance of a centrifuge decanter. If we can make it as dry as a decanter, uh, you're far better off using a screw press because uh, it has much less wear power and a, a very small motor compared to a decanter. But, uh, the spare parts replacement are negligible in this. Okay, this is how much we got uh, off the screen, and we uh, poured uh, 10 gallons in, got about three and a half out. Okay. We're hoping uh, we can get this thick enough to uh, push this material out, I was running it. 75 psi, and I, I've lowered the air pressure down to a two bar, 30 psi, and but uh, it's that's get pretty thick before it can push that stuff out. Okay, we're starting to get a more flow of water, so the press is removing water. The goal here would be to uh, make press cake with the same moisture content as you get out of a decanter. Level is going down very slowly. We're getting a, a low throughput capacity in the press. You can see it's churning. The flow is going towards the gearbox instead of into the press. That's because the screw is pushing material into the screen. It's not going in, and so it's backing up. Although we're still getting out water, so uh, maybe it'll get thick enough to uh, start making some cake. Oh, we're getting a little bit of cake coming out here. Go ahead and run it in. What we're doing here is uh, throwing in cottonseed hulls to try and chase out some press cake. Uh, we didn't have enough sample uh, off our uh, DSM screen to uh, you know, get a cake coming out of the press. So we're using the cottonseed hulls just as a chaser to push out some, see if we can get some press cake for uh, moisture analysis. This is the material we pressed, and you'll see it has quite a bit of water in it. Yeah, see the stream of water falling out. So we, this is a lot wetter than the DDG that uh, you sent us. So uh, um, we didn't do as well as the decanter, for sure. Of course, we had low air pressure, and we're struggling here. But it's rough for a screw press to match a decanter in this application. Probably why decanters are used predominantly. 
This, this is the screw department. Uh, uh, the guys uh, have knocked off. There ought to be a couple guys welding tonight. We're on the second ship. But this is where we manufacture the screws. Uh, here's the lights that we use, small presses, bigger presses. There's some big presses, came from ADM, straight ends, and uh, here's the assembly department. Here's the assembly department, second shift. Um, it's empty. Uh, it's the first of the year we shipped everything but the kitchen sink in December. Uh, screw department, a screen department over in there where we're manufacturing screens. Uh, there's a frames of four presses. There's another five like it around here. Uh, we do make presses for the corn wet milling industry. Uh, two main applications, fiber, ahead of the dryer, we're good at that, and germ, uh, dewatering the germ before it goes to the oil extraction plant. At the oil extraction plant, we do uh, puts. This is Thursday morning. We're going to give this one last try. The, uh, this is the DGG with the 5% uh, cottonseed hulls. Uh, we'll see if getting them up to room temperature, they sat overnight, uh, does any good. We'll run the cone in. That's at low air pressure. If it starts working, we'll crank up the air pressure. Here's the fist test on this material. You can't squeeze any liquid out with your hand or even get a, a drop between your fingers. I'm not getting a film out of this. And so uh, there's no moisture that a screw press can take out. And sure enough, uh, we're not getting, I've got the air pressure up to uh, 4 bar, 60 psi. And uh, no luck. We're up to 100 psi, still uh, no liquid coming out. We took off the uh, air pressure, opened the cone, emptying the press. We're running moisture uh, tests, and I can see uh, various samples in there. That would have been press liquor, and um, yeah, a lot of samples here. Well, I have the results pretty soon.